In November 2019, I drove up through northern Idaho into Montana. We'll see what Montana holds for us. We'll get some good interviews up here. So I pulled into the Airbnb. What a magnificent little treasure I found at this Airbnb, a 1913 home right in the middle of Butte, Montana. My host, Jennifer, was a little shy about being videotaped, so she did consent to a selfie, and I did spend some really cool time talking with her, visiting with her about uh, things that were going on in both of our lives. and. But I did also ask her about her hopes and dreams. And the thing that stuck out to me was her hope for civil and uh, peaceful communication among everybody, from neighborhood level up to the global scale, that we could be a we'd be able to solve our problems more efficiently and more civilly if we just changed the way we talk to each other. Thank you, Jennifer. I also met Corinne, who said that we need to stop wishing and preparing for things to be as they used to be. We need to move forward, not only in our uh, uh, thoughts, but also in our actions, and prepare for the changes that are coming, because the changes are coming whether we like them or whether we're prepared for them or not. I found her to be very wise. Uh, she'd been through a lot in her life, and uh, she was putting her life back together and uh, was very, very inspiring. She said that uh, if she could go back and talk to her 13-year-old self, she would tell herself that the really hard times were actually the opportunities that were presenting themselves, and the really good times were just right behind those obstacles and that she had regretted not knowing that or not working through those hard times to get to those good times that laid behind them and that she had taken the easy way out and it took a long time to get back from taking the easy way out. I had the opportunity to talk to Jed and Jen were their names. They were contractors. They did a lot of finished carpentry work and apparently they did very well. Even my host, uh, Jennifer, where I where I'd stayed in, uh, in Butte, had heard of them. But anyway, we got to talk, and they, again, did not want to be interviewed on tape, but we did take a selfie, and it's not the most flattering one for Jed. But their advice was to um, take advantage of what your dreams are. You identify them early on, follow them, and if they change, you have that experience of following a dream and you'll be able to use that same passion as you look forward and follow the next dream that pops up. Finally, I went to a meat processing plant, a huge operation in uh, Butte, where I met Betty and she gave me the grand tour of the whole plant and I've got a really good interview with her and I'll put the link to that interview at the end of this uh, video. As I left Betty's uh, business, I ran into Bob, who works there, and he didn't want to be videoed, but, and he didn't even want his picture taken, but he did a consent to this picture, and I asked him what his hopes and dreams were, and he said, a very young girlfriend. So there you have it. Uh, loved you, Butte, Montana.